Final round of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans from TPC Louisiana in Avondale, just outside of New Orleans. Beautiful day of weather, Justin Rose setting up birdie at 18, a chance to get to 13 under. Rose climbing 12 spots up the leaderboard into the top 10. And he has Zurich as one of his sponsors, so he was happy to fare well in New Orleans. Here's Jeff Overton, 16 under, off the green at 14. And Overton making his way into the top five, one of his best finishes of the season, solo fourth. Andrew Zvoboda off the green at 12. Zvoboda hitting the flagstick, knocking that in. He would be on his way to a 17 under total and a career best finish as he would go three under on the day. Robert Strapp also with a career best performance from just off the edge of the green at the bar five second and pulls that from 70 plus feet for Eagle. And then on to the back half, this at 16. And Strep carding a 70. After three rounds in the 60s, he would post 17 under. Soon you'll know, our leader, after 54 holes, working the 10th. He went three rounds without a bogey. He actually gave up a shot, first hole of the day on Sunday, but coming back strong on the back nine. To the birdie at 10, working this shot at 13, bangs it off the flagstick, and that would settle quickly right next to the flat. So he makes the putt there, now at 16. Soon you'll know, after he would have a bogey on the card, he would bounce right back with birdies at 13 and 16, and then this clutch par saving putt at the 17th, and at 22 years of age, showing a great deal of poise, he taps in at the 18th in a South Korean celebration in New Orleans as Charlie Wee and Y.E. Yang would charge onto the green, celebrating with the youngest winner from South Korea. Soon you'll know. We move on to the Wells Fargo Championship. 1 p.m. Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio, also available on PGATour.com, Golf Channel at 3 p.m. Eastern.